On September 11, 2001, I woke up to a horrifying reality. On that day, I learned that those who perpetrated the attacks have actually claimed to have done so on my behalf, me as a Muslim and as an Arab. On the other side, my own government, which wasn't democratic at the time and still isn't today, failed to represent my views or that of many uh, in the region at that time who felt genuine empathy and shock for what had just happened. And the mainstream media, of course, uh, didn't represent those views properly. Actually, they were underrepresented or simply distorted. So in a way, I am Generation 9-11, because on that day, I and many of my generation have decided we were not going to be silent. We were going to wake up. We felt the need to speak for ourselves. For the last 10 years or so, that generation has been extensively using the internet and social media to voice its concerns. We were no longer ready to let crazy speak on our behalf. We were determined to uh, expose the Arab governments for what they are. Idiotic, autocratic regimes, the kind of dictatorships that we have been suffocating under for so long. We also uh, sought uh, aggressively to build bridges with the other side to uh, reach out to the rest of the world. The universal values of human rights were going to be our creed. No more state control or censorship will be able to muzzle our voices or prevent us from uh, enjoying our right to freedom of expression. Ten years on, the Arab regimes are crumbling. They are falling one after the other. Uh, religious extremism and fundamentalism has never been so unpopular. And the world is watching with support and sometimes with admiration for what the Arabs have been achieving so far. As the world is about to celebrate the 10th anniversary of uh, the attacks on uh, of September 11th, my hope is that we have today a better understanding of each other than we had 10 years ago and that we are today uh, more capable of compassion, of empathy and for uh, respect for one another. Thank you very much.